If you listen really, really carefully, you may hear the clip-clop, clip-clop of horses underneath the hum of today's motor cars. In 1875, when Michael and John Cappell had a three-story Italianate building constructed at 219 to 221 Third Street for their carriage and wagon works, horsepower was measured in strength, not speed. Red Wing was the trading center for surrounding agricultural communities. People relied on wagons and carriages to transport their commodities to the city. From here, those goods might travel on by rail or riverboat but Red Wing was the first stop. By 1875, the Kappel brothers, German immigrants who had started their business 10 years earlier at 4th and Bush Streets, had the largest of several local wagon manufacturing plants. The new structure they built was a reflection of their wealth. An elaborate brick corbel table defines the cornice. The uppermost floor boasts round arch windows while the second floor has segmented arch windows. The storefront has six striking brick arches with doors set in the second and fourth bays. In 1885, the 15 men employed by the Capels turned out 100 wagons and 60 platform wagons, buggies, and sleighs. The business also offered blacksmithing, horseshoeing, and prompt repair services. A newspaper advertisement that appeared the day before Christmas in December 1870 told the tale. Here manufactured and now offered for sale a good stock of Portland cutters, which will be sold at prices varying according to finish. This cutter is as durable and convenient to one as can be made for this country. All the timber in these cutters has been seasoned for four years. The demand was so great that two of the Capel's employees, William Hendel and William Remchard, left to start their own shops. In 1879, John left, too, to start a blacksmith and wagon repair shop at the original 4th and Bush location when Michael's son Albert joined his dad at Red Wing Wagon and Carriage Manufacturing Company. But the days of carriages and harness shops, blacksmiths and saddleries and livery stables were numbered. Kappel Wagon Works went out of business around 1910, although the Kappels continued to do some repair work for a while. By 1918, there was a new tenant, Hendel's Auto, Radiator, and Windshield Shop. In later years, the building housed Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Today, it's where Knuts and Caramels and Cheesecakes are made. Because 219 to 221 Third has always been more an industrial than commercial building on the fringe of downtown, none of the owners felt compelled to modernize and put in new storefronts with huge display windows. As a result, the old Capel building is one of the least altered 19th century structures in downtown Red Wing. Mm -hmm. 